for those people in Trenton who love tomato pizza pie, January 15th is going to be a sad day. Di Lorenzo's, a gastronomic staple for more than 60 years, will lock its doors one last time. Everybody does, does it? Why can't I? Everybody retires, right? I know I can't do nothing, that's for sure. But I'm going to have to fill time. I don't know. Oh, please don't close. Please don't close. It's, it's been really, really unbelievable. I never thought we were that important. Fabulous. Delicious. Oh, I, I, there's, there's undescribable words about this pie. You'd have to experience it. It's like your first, anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> so despite years of success and legions of customers far and wide, Gary and Eileen Amico insist it's time. Mixed emotions. I mean, put a lot of years in, it's time. She needs her knees done. I'm, I got a bad back. It's, we can hold, time. Unavoidable, but it was very gratifying. Gratifying to, to know you could do something well and you make people happy doing it. Well, my son opened a new restaurant in Robbinsville at Washington Town Center. And we just figured it was time to, to go. It, just at this business, not like De Lorenzo's has gone out of business. We have another business, so it's going to carry on in a, just in another area. So how do the customers, the ones who line up for hours outside just to get a taste, feel about it. All good things must come to an end, but this is very, very sad. You know, like I said, it's not just the pie, it's the memories, you know. There, there, there won't be another De Lorenzo Hudson Street. Absolutely not. I'd like to thank him for giving birth to their son, Sam. You open up the place in a township that will still have a place to go to, uh, to enjoy the pizza there, too, so. And uh, that's it. Now it's time for me to go eat my pie. <laughs> but when the doors do shut, and the neon pizza light turns off one last time, Eileen worries a bit about how their lives are going to change. It's just not going to be the same. My life will be different. You know, I grew up here. I worked here. This was my whole life. You know, we just feel close to so many people. We've met so many nice people over the years, and they feel like part of our family. And it's, it's hard. It's very hard to to just say goodbye to everybody. That's what's the hardest for me to say goodbye. Have a good one, Chuck. Good to see you.